What's up everybody? We are doing some off-roading today. We're going to do Tokerville Falls, which in Southern Utah, it's known as a pretty, it's a fairly difficult trail. I've never been on it, so I don't know, but we're gonna go see how the taco does and we're gonna go with Andrew, who has a 23 Pro Taco. So we're gonna see how they do. So we're trying to go over that little baby rock there. The notification here says, transmission hot. It won't come back, but it's hot. It's giving her all the beans and it wouldn't go over the rock. All right, welcome out here to the wonderful outdoors in Southern Utah. We got Andy, we got tacos, fourth gen, third gen pro, and this is Tokerville Falls Trailhead. So we made it out here, it's like five miles up there. None of us have done this before, but everybody says that it's kind of like pretty nasty road. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna see how the pro does. We're gonna see how the fourth gen does. And uh, I got flies all over me. Anyway, we're gonna go do it. We're gonna see how it goes. All right. Got we'll anything to say? Very rocky. Very rocky. See you later, brother. So we're trying to go over that little baby rock there. And I got a notice, a notification here. It says, transmission hot. It won't come back, but it's hot. It's giving her all the beans and it wouldn't go over the rock. So I came to the transmission temp, there we go. Transmission oil temp high. So it's cooling down now. Guess we'll sit here for a minute. Okay, we let it cool down a little bit. Made it right over the thing, but I hot for a second. I was also rake in gas at the same time for a second because you do that when you're off-roading trying to keep it from jerking into things and stuff, but we'll try to not do that and see if it gets better. All right, we're out in Tokerville Falls. We're uh, probably at least a mile in on the trail. Tyson's uh, fourth gen keeps on, not overheating, just getting a bit hot. And uh, I've just been fine right in the middle. 
bit rocky, but I mean, as you can see, other trucks bigger than ours are doing it just fine. So, yeah, we'll update you guys when uh, we're there. My transmission might be getting hot, but what'd you just say? I said one thing I wish I had was cooled seats. Yeah, at least when I'm waiting for my transmission to not be hot, my butt is cold. Yeah, you cool him down. I'll be cool, transmission's hot, his butt's hot, Back but his sweaty. transmission's cool. There's correlation. <laughs> You just about bottomed out. So I just jumped in the pro with Andrew. What do you think so far? She rides pretty good. Hell yeah, brother. Find out for yourself. Yeah. We're following the fourth gen now. Get some sick rollers. It's weird to not have to drive. Don't know how I feel about this. So, update on the transmission. It is definitely happier in Fort Low. Uh, we've been doing some as gnarly of stuff as what we were doing when it overheated. And it's much happier. It's like back down to normal temperatures. And yeah, so the Fort Low is much happier. I put it back in 4i on this road because it's flat and don't need Fort Low. Couldn't go fast enough, but yeah, might have been user error. So we made it to the falls. There they are right there. Was I fall off a rock? So they did, they both did great. Fourth gen just had that transmission thing for a second, which I think was user error. Um, after like the first mile and a half, they were, it was smooth road for the next three miles. So it's like about a mile and a half. That's pretty rough. But yeah, they both did awesome. These trucks are actually really impressive. Like all tacos in general, obviously. Ground clearance is awesome. We only got close to bottoming out once. We both did. He has a little more ground clearance than I do since he's a leveled pro. But yeah, they did awesome. Rocky here. Got the rolling pitch. 
We're at the fourth gen, just crawling over these rocks. This is the sketch part. Minute, turn your tires that way. Okay. That's your drop off. Other than that, you're clear. You're good. You missed the rock. Not with your back tire, but. That'd be sick. Ah! I forgot I was in reverse. Sweet. This is not the way I got through here the first time, but we got back tire off the ground. We were uh, kind of similar situation up here, but it kind of felt like it was gonna roll a little sketchier. Trying a different line, but we just had a, what was that, a Cherokee? Yeah, it was an old Cherokee. An old Cherokee just come through here freaking full throttle with big tires and nasty suspension. I'm like, yeah, you go ahead, brother. We're gonna be a minute. <laughs> Got the pro in the same spot I was. Check out the travel on this guy. Oh yeah, bud. Oh, don't fall. Don't die. Don't fall, don't die. Heck yeah. Freaking pro. I'm here to tell you that was sketch. <laughs> I really thought it dropped for a second. Yeah. Back tire stuffed on Thanksgiving Day. Sweet. Typical Toyota fashion. Go out and beat it like a redheaded stepchild and then drive it home. Nothing's making weird noises. Driving straight. Looks good. Made it back home. 
It's about 45 miles back on the highway. Um, it drove good. No bumps or rattles or shakes or anything weird on the highway. So it did great coming back home. Didn't damage anything, so that's a W. Um, but yeah, just a overview of what, how it went. It made it. We didn't ever bottom out. We got real close a couple times. That road is worse than I thought it was going to be. Um, but it did it. The only hiccup was the overheating, which could have been user error. I had it in four high and I was trying to, um, I don't know what they call that when you brake and gas at the same time to make it so it doesn't rock rocks and stuff. I'm new to off-roading too, so I'm learning. So anyway, I think, like I said, I think the uh, overheating could have been user error. As soon as I put it in four low um, and stopped doing the brake thing, it was pretty happy I mean we went up and over another hill after it overheated it got a little warm because it was in four high I put it in four low after that and didn't have any issues between this truck and the uh, third gen the third gen obviously didn't overheat didn't have any temperature issues or anything um, but in four low Andrew was saying that the it didn't love to be in four low and go any kind of speed um, which we kind of noticed on the drag race video, the four low and the four high, the four wheel drive systems on these are like geared different or something um, because mine was slower in four low in the drag race video and it was faster in four high, I think. Anyway, so the four, the four wheel drive systems are different. He said that the third gen didn't love being in four low and going any kind of speed. This was fine up to 15, 15 ish miles an hour. Um, so it was, it could be another reason why it was overheating in four high. It might just be geared differently. And, and if you're going that slow and crawling over rocks and stuff, it might just be meant to be in, in four low. Um, cause like I said, it was happy after that. So, um, Andrew's suspension was better obviously because he's got a pro and he has Fox shocks. Mine was stiff, but it was fine. Um, it, they were both articulating a lot. We got back tires and whatnot off the ground a couple times on both of them. He has a little bit more ground clearance because pros are leveled. Um, but they both did awesome. Main differences are just ride and um, the transmission thing, which we could we got to figure out. Um, but yeah, they both did awesome. Any other trails or anything you want to see us compare those two trucks? Um, let us know in the comments if you're new to the channel make sure you like and subscribe you can check out right here we've got um, a whole bunch of other videos i'll link more videos in the corner here if you want to see some of my other content anyway thanks for sticking around and we'll catch you on the next one